Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video, we will discuss about how to create reusable methods for syndicates method and verify text element method and click and accept alert method and auto suggestion. Okay, before going to start this video, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to the channel Selenium Tech Automation and also please don't forget to watch this video till the end and if you like this video please drop a like by end of this video and also please share this video to your friends or colleagues so that our video will get recommended for more people okay let's get started so here the first method which we are going to create is send keys method okay how to create send keys method in a generic way for that before going to create as we know already in selenium we have a method called as send keys method using of this send keys method we are going to key in some information into any text field for example uh, there is a login page so which is having uh, to enter username and password and clicking on login button correct so to enter the username we are using send keys method with the required information that is username and also there is a password field where we are entering requirement required information in the form of password so we and to enter these two details we have already default method that is send keys in selenium but i want to create a method as per my requirement so in that uh, scenario we are going to create one uh, method in a generic way that is called as send keys method okay so let me create that method public void method name here is send keys method okay method name here is send keys method so after this so where we are entering uh, the text on a particular web element correct so let me uh, take here as one web element as a parameter followed by element this is a variable name i am taking and then what information i am entering for example i am entering some user name as selenium tech automation that information i am storing in using of data type string or data type variable that is called as value string value and also i am going to wait for some time using of explicitly wait before going to enter the required information for that i am taking here as long data type that is wait time in seconds wait time in seconds okay these are the three parameters which are using to enter the required information using of send keys method in a particular text field okay so after that so before going to uh, enter any information in the required text field first i have to wait so for that i have already created one method here that is explicitly wait for element this uh, method i have already shown and created in our previous video if you are not watched that video please refer to that video as well and here this explicitly wait for element is accepting two parameters that is the element which we are entering the text and also uh, how many time uh, how much of time i am uh, waiting for that uh, element okay these are the two parameters this method is accepting so once that is done after waiting for that particular web element first what i am doing here i am going to perform the click action here so how we can perform using of element dot click okay element dot click once i uh, after clicking on the particular element if there is any existing text available in that particular text field i am going to clear that existing text using of clear method okay using of clear method i am clearing that particular text which is available in the text field after that i am entering my required information using of element dot send keys okay element dot send keys so here it is taking one parameter of type string type correct so here we can see element dot send keys method it is giving one parameter that is the value which we are entering inside our text field correct so if i do control space it is asking one parameter that is value okay so that value which we are entering that is storing inside our string data type variable okay that i am passing here okay that i am passing here so here i can keep this information in try catch block also i can use try catch block. if there are any errors we are going to identify using of try catch block so how we can create so let me create one block here try catch block Compiling still control space edit still it is taking time okay after doing this so let me add these four lines of code inside of our try block which means that using of try block okay using of try block it will allow us to define a block of code to be tested for errors okay 
this try block will allow us to define okay to define a block of code to be tested for errors while it is being executed while this code is executing this try block will execute uh, this try block will allow us to define a block of code where the errors to be tested and what does this catch uh, block will do here this catch block will allow us to define a block of code to be executed if an error occurs in the try block if there is any errors occur in try block this catch block is going to help us to define the block of code okay so here uh, instead of defining any exceptions or no such element exception or still element reference exception I am using here loggers okay in here we have already clear uh, created this logger class at global variable now I am using that logger class reference variable that is logger dot so what I am doing here info okay so here I am printing some text okay or else better I can keep here logger dot error method okay so that our execution will fail here that is logger dot error method okay logger dot error method here I am defined I am defining the error message saying that element okay element element is not displayed okay I am defining here element is not displayed so that I will get this information in my console element is not displayed this is my first logger message okay so once that is done I am using here assert class I am using here assert class which is coming from the org testng package so after that in here in assert we have assert dot fail method so followed by the message what I want to enter here I can take the same message what I have created here in our loggers okay so let me add the same information inside our assert dot fail if uh, any uh, like if this strike block is containing any errors so obviously this catch block is going to handle that error by using of assert dot fail statement I am failing my test case okay this is how we can create a method for send case method okay and then the next method here is verify text element okay the next method here is verify text element so here verify text element means so for example there is a uh, login button so where I want to verify the particular text of the login button how we can verify using of verify text element method so how to create that same way public void the method name here is verify text element okay verify text element and here I am crossing three parameters here the first one is uh, expected value because I want to compare this actual value with the expected value okay so for that let me take here string string comparing text string comparing text followed by actual value also we want so where exactly this value uh, actually is coming from on a web element correct so let me take web element as a parameter that is actual element I am taking after that if I want to uh, describe any description about that particular error or if it is not an error I am going to use one more string element description okay so these are the three parameters this verified text element is accepting okay so under that the first line of doing here is the same way how I uh, did for the send case method I will use the same explicitly wait for element Okay, explicitly wait for element and then here also the same way like actual element and then okay actual element let me add here wait also that is of long data type wait time in seconds okay long wait time in seconds so because this explicitly wait for element is accepting two parameters the first one here is actual web element followed by the wait of time in seconds that is a variable called as wait time in seconds let me add the same here once it is done so now our actual logic will start here that is if my particular element text what I am getting that is equals of my uh, expected value then do this one 
so how we can get the text of a particular web element it means using of actual element dot get text correct dot get text method so i uh, currently i retrieved the text of the given web element but i am not storing into any variable to compare with my expected result right so for that let me store this information into string of data type variable called as actual text string actual text equal to actual element dot get text now i am storing this uh, whatever the information you got from that uh, web element i am storing that inside our which one actual text okay so now i am going to compare the both that is actual element text and expected text okay so how we can compare if if my actual text my actual text dot equals of if my actual text dot equals of what what one comparing text correct so this comparing text is coming from any file such as uh, excel file or word file or somewhere okay so if these two are matching so if these two are matching i'm going to use here logger dot info message okay logger dot info message okay logger dot info i am using here to print what is happening exactly okay the console part so here i am defining like i am defining so a description okay description that element description with the comparing text that is expected text is verified okay uh, element description right so let me add that element description element description element description followed by comparing text Eclipse is a little slow. Okay, and then comparing text. Comparing text followed by which one? Comparing text followed by the string saying that which is verified. Okay, the string saying that which is verified. That is is that is is verified. Still, it is taking time to enter. on my screen because of hanging in the system okay is verified okay is verified so if that element is matching means I am printing saying that element description whatever I want to pass as element description here we can pass that information with the comparing text which is coming from any other file like text file or excel file or json file or excel file so i am storing all my expected text in the form of these files saying that is verified okay and then the next line of code here is what we are defining else block correct if this is not equals with my uh, comparing text then i am going to execute my else block how we can execute defining the loggers as logger dot error okay defining the logger dot error saying that let me copy this entire string and let me add here logger dot info here i will define logger dot error and then is not verified i can take okay it is just for our reference saying that because of this it is not verified okay if you really want to fail your test case we have a uh, soft asset also in selenium we can use that as well okay so to do that soft asset you can use or else asset dot fail also you can use so if you use soft asset means it is not going to stop your execution but if you use asset dot fail method definitely your execution is going to be blocked or terminated so let me have this one here same messages i want to pass here that is uh, 
element description comparison text is not matched with my is not matched I can take here okay is not matched because of this only my script is getting failed that we uh, uh, identified using of assert or fail statement okay so this is how we can create one reusable method for verify text element and then our next method here is what is our next method that is click and accept alert so before going to create this method we have already know that we all already know that how to handle the alerts in selenium using of first we have to switch our driver focus to the respective alert uh, after switching our driver focus to the respective alert we are going to perform two options provided by the alert class that is first one is ok and the next one is dismiss these are the two different methods which is provided by the accept sorry alert class in selenium using of these two methods we can uh, perform the handling the alerts but what will happen if that ok is button and also cancel is also button in that cases we can directly use by creating xpath for ok button and perform a click action on it and then uh, if you want to cancel that alert by using of any web element you can create xpath for cancel button and perform the click action when if that is web elements okay if uh, no web elements are identified means we can directly switch our driver focus to the alert method to perform accepting or dis uh, I mean accepting or rejecting the alert or cancel the alert okay so let me create public void accept alert so this is a simple method no need to worry okay public void accept alert so here we can wait for that particular alert until it is going to display so for that we can use explicitly wait for example explicitly wait until the alert is displayed is displayed also we can use fluent wait until that particular alert is going to display by using of polling every method okay using of polling every method we are going to wait for that particular alert for example I am passing here 30 seconds of time 30 seconds to wait within this 30 seconds I want to wait for polling every polling every 5 seconds every 5 seconds I want to wait for uh, alert to be displayed so during this time we can poll these 5 seconds like for example there are uh, 30 seconds we define in that 30 seconds I want to wait for the element uh, for every 5 seconds if it is identifying that particular alert, alert within 15 seconds uh, remaining 15 seconds I am going to save while doing my execution okay for that we can define that okay for that we can define that fluent wait so but I am using here directly accepting or web element alert okay directly I am taking here web element alert this is one method so for example uh, let me uh, alert dot click okay alert dot click so here uh, element means here element means alert is an element for both accept and dismiss so if I can see that accept as an web element I can directly take it as alert dot click if I can see that dismiss as a web element if I want to cancel that alert we can directly pass that web element here and then perform the click action okay how we can create so if that accept is a web element click on this accept web element okay and then if that dismiss is a web element click on on this dismiss web element okay click on this dismiss web element so in this way also we can handle the alert but better you can use directly the method called as 
driver dot switch to dot focus okay driver dot switch to dot alert and then perform the required action whether to accept alert or dismiss alert that is also one method to handling the alert and then the last method here is what is the last method handling the auto suggestions okay handling the auto suggestion how we can handle the auto suggestion here what exactly the auto suggestion means for example there is a google search bar so where i want to search for selenium tutorial for that's it selenium tutorial for if i enter that information in my google search bar what does that google bar uh, google search bar return it will return as the list of options available in particular string what we entered that is selenium tutorial for fresher selenium tutorial for experienced selenium tutorial for intermediate selenium tutorial for beginners so there are five options but i want to select selenium tutorial for experienced candidate in that case we are going to handle that particular uh, list of suggestions by performing the click action on the desired element so these are the list of web elements that is selenium tutorial for fresher selenium tutorial for experienced selenium tutorial for intermediate candidates selenium tutorial for beginners so these are the four items present in that list we are going to handle by using of list of web elements concept here okay so let me create a method for that so how we can create the same way that is public void handling auto suggestion handling auto suggestion correct handling auto suggestion here it is accepting here it is also accepting two parameters the first parameter here is the web element and then the second parameter here is where exactly my uh, actual text is available okay so let me take here two parameters the first one here is web element element comma string uh, list value okay list value okay these are the two parameters which is accepting that is handling auto session so as i uh, mentioned as i mentioned that whatever the options we have present inside that list we are going to store in the list which is coming from the java it is package followed by the web element if i want to handle the list of web elements we have to use find elements method here list of elements okay list of elements equals to uh, we know already that is driver dot find elements correct driver dot find elements by dot x path of x path you can define here okay once it is done then what i am doing here i am using for loop here for int my iteration will start from 0 and then i less than or equals to or else you can directly use i less than or equals to list dot size or else i less than list of elements dot size method so that i will get the size of the list that i am storing into i variable and then i plus plus okay so here if my uh, i value is 0 if that list of element size is list of element size is for example 10 okay so when it comes to this for loop uh, for int i equals to 0 0 is less than or equals to 10 okay 0 is less than or equal to 10 the condition is to here then it will enter inside our for loop so here what i am taking i am taking here list value list value equals to list value equals to so in here we have defined already list of elements here that is list of elements dot get of i dot get text correct so what i am doing here anyway we have already defined one variable uh, as a parameter here correct that is list value which is of type or uh, distinguished type variable and then here i am taking for example if my 0 is less than or equal to 10 then go inside my for loop and then uh, store that required information whatever the information i am getting for that particular index value 0 i am storing that inside our string variable that is called as list value 
after that uh, what i am doing here i am performing if condition here if value whatever i got it from that particular list of element of uh, index value if value dot equals okay if value dot equals uh, okay if list value okay if list value dot equals if list value dot equals of if list value dot equals of for example you are storing that in the form of any file uh, that is expected value correct so if my expected value that is selenium tutorial for freshers for example i am telling here selenium tutorial for freshers so if my uh, value which is coming as an index value of i that is 0 if that value is equals of this selenium tutorial for freshers then perform the click action okay then perform the click action then perform the click action so here i will perform click action on that particular which one on particular web element correct so where is our list of web elements this is one so here i'm performing the click action that is list of elements dot click okay list of elements dot uh, that is of get index value that is zeroth value followed by dot click okay this is how you can create a method for handling the auto session first what i am doing here first i am storing all those list of elements into one list followed by one for loop so here uh, it will begin from for loop is beginning from the index value that is zero because i have 10 elements in that particular list my 10 elements uh, the starting index value is zero if that zero is less than or equal to 10 go inside my for loop and store that particular uh, text what we are retrieving using our te get text method on a particular web element and assigning into one variable called as string list value variable once that is done this is my actual value and storing into list value if that is equals of the expected value that is selenium tutorial for freshers then perform the click action on that desired index value of i so that it will click if you want to if you don't want to hard code this value you can store that information in any excel val, uh, excel workbook or else csv file or else txt file or else json file this expected value should come from those particular uh, uh, files and you can define instead of our equals method and then perform the click action if not i'm going to if not what will happen if it is not equals of the required information again you can use one loggers statement here logger dot error or info whatever you want you can define here okay uh, element is not available i can take here as element is not available or element is not present to perform the click action so these are the uh, four different methods where we can create in a generic way for any automation framework and what i will do i will directly call these methods inside my actual test case okay this is how we can create thank you so much guys that's all that's all it for this video stay tuned for more videos thank you so much have a nice day